Okay, we're joined now by Coach Katie Abrahamson Henderson of UCF. Uh, Coach, uh, we just get your opening thoughts on the game, please, and we'll open up to questions. Oh, um, you know, I thought I thought USF did a good job and came out and threw the first punch. I mean, um, they they got some really good veterans on their team that did that for them. So, um, you know, hats off to them. They 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 came with a lot of energy and. Um, you know, just ready to go from the beginning. And Harvey was amazing for them. Amazing. So just talk to our team about that. And that um, if we would have come out with the energy we had in the second half, then maybe the game would have been a lot different. Okay, we'll take questions for coach, please. Just use the raise hand feature in the chat, please. And we'll call on you in the order in which they come in. Okay, we'll start with Eric Lopez, please. Coach, you mentioned that they hit the first punch there. You did, was it something that, that that was they did to you that kind of played on your heels? Was it what what did you see there that kind of got USF to that big lead that you couldn't get to dig out of that hole? No, they just came with a lot of energy, you know, and they just they played they wanted they played the way they wanted to play. Um, and defensively, you know, that's what we're known for, and um, they they were. I mean, it, there's a lot of detail to it, Eric, but just I, they just came with a lot of energy and, you know, we didn't we didn't stop with the, the each individual player did. They got they got whatever they were good at. They were getting whatever they wanted. Um, so obviously at halftime, we decided we were going to make a change, um, uh, came out and played UCF basketball in the second half. But we can't we can't get down by that much, you know, to a really good team. We'll go next to Steve Wilson, please. Steve, I, I muted your line briefly. Just, uh, you just need to unmute yourself. Coach, uh, oftentimes I will ask you what you saw on the court that you liked tonight. Uh, in a loss like this, what did you see tonight? Was there anything that you liked out of your team? Yeah. I liked the fact that Masani Kava and um, Diamond Battles finally got some recognition they deserve because they are the heart and soul of our team, for sure. Um, and they led this team for three games, and they finally got some recognition to be an all-tournament team. I mean, people just, you know, they didn't get any votes for, you know, some of these awards. And, you know, I, I, I personally, as a head coach, know that they're very valuable to our team. They're, they're very good players. They're great players for us. And so, you know, I'm just really happy that, um, that they came and they showed up. Um, but we can't have just two people show up. It's got to be more. I thought Destiny Thomas did a good job on her role. I thought Tay Saunders came, obviously, defensively in the press. She was great. Um, and then, you know, Asia Todd, she came out and fought for Mossany and, and Diamond. So it was, you know, it was really good to see. But we can't we can't play a good team like that and only have five people play the way they should play. But, I, I, um, you know, now you see why Mossany Kaba and, and Diamond Battles are great players. They're great players. And, I mean, they just don't get any recognition in this league. Steve, you got a follow-up? Uh, yes, Coach. Uh, prior to the game and the shoot around and the warm up, uh, did you feel good about the way the team was looking and the, did they feel like they were ready to play? I don't know. That's going to be something you got to ask Diamond. You know, I'm I'm in the locker room trying to avoid any anything. Um, the coaches said they are ready, but you know, um, when you have two championship teams and two winning teams come up, you know, we, we, whoever throws the first punch, I mean, that, that was big. And they, they definitely threw the first punch. We'll go back to Eric Lopez, please. You were able to get it within six though. They're in that fourth quarter, but then obviously just couldn't get a basket to go. Was it, did it just get run out of gas there? Was it something they did defensively, a combination of the two? No, I thought, um, I don't know how to say her name, Pazan. I thought she did a good job of, you know, drawing some fouls. And Shineke did a good job of driving to the rim, drawing fouls, getting some easy layups. I mean, obviously, they're, um, 
seasoned players too for him. So they did a good job of getting the shots they wanted down that stretch. Go back to Steve Wilson for another, please. Uh, Coach, with a few seconds left in the game, the camera zoomed in on you and all we saw were your eyes. You looked like you were focused. Do you recall what was going through your mind at the end of the game? Were you mad, frustrated, sad for the players? Or what was going through your mind at that point, if you remember? After the game was over? After the game was over? No, this was with about five seconds left in the game, and it was basically over at that time. And just the eyes, your focus looked like something was going through your mind. Mm, well, because I've been in, I've won a lot of championships, you know, and in my head, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what did I do wrong not to get them to where they needed to get to? Because I've been there so many times with so many schools and so many programs, you know, at Missouri State, we won five championships at Albany, we won five championships, you know, and, and we're, we're right there. We're right there. Um, and so in my head, I'm thinking, what could I have done better? What did, what, how did we fail these kids? I mean, that's kind of what head coaches do. So, I mean, that was probably the thought process. Um, and obviously um, I have a lot of respect for Jose and he does a great job with this program. And now we got to figure out how we get over that hurdle, you know, for next year, we got everybody coming back next year. So, I mean, we're, we're a great team. We're a great team. I mean, we're, we're not a, you know, we've been a great team for all five years that I've been here. We've been in fourth place, third place, second, 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 you know? And so we just got to get um, some respect somehow, somewhere, some, you know, hopefully we'll get in the NCAA tournament. Um, but I, we got to get over the hump of, you know, winning a championship because we, we've been to the championship game twice since I've been here. Um, obviously, UConn was one, and now here at USF. Um, but um, I got to figure we got to figure out a way to, you know, if it's get some some more players in here, some more killers, more, you know, those grindy players like Diamond and, and Moss, you know, and or add to the people that we have. So in in my head, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking, okay, I've been there before. I know how to do it. But these guys have these ladies have not been there before, and they. They've only been to this championship game, you know, twice now. And I think Diamond was a freshman maybe when KK, I don't know, everybody's years and Moss, you know. So, you know, we're, we're still young. And, you know, Jose's been to a lot of these championship games, the finals. Take one or two more for Coach. We'll go to Nathan Bond, please. Coach, you, you mentioned uh, hopefully you get into the NCAA tournament. I know with the win tonight, you would have gotten the bid. Women's basketball, you know, bracketology is quirky as it is. Is there any doubt that maybe you can't? I know Jose's advocated for you guys to be, be in the tournament as a you know quality team. I mean, for me, uh, I think we should be in. You know, it's just politics a little bit, and it's, you know, and who's winning and losing in the other tournaments, you know, so – and that's, that's what sucks, you know, and we, we, I think personally that this is not a one big league. It's not Tulane showed that they are a great team. We, we, we are a great team. We should be in the NCAA tournament. We've got all the numbers to get in. We've, you know, beat USF. We beat LSU. I mean, we are, are, we've got top 50 wins, top 100, 100 wins. I mean, we've done everything correct to be able to, be in um, the NCAA tournament, but it's, you know, unfortunately it's kind of, I mean, I, I'm just, I think we're in, I'm praying we're in, but I, I got to prepare my team if we're not, you know, so that's kind of how a coach thinks. Um, but, you know, hopefully everybody will take care of their business and their other conferences and, and um, we, we can get in. Take the last one from Eric Lopez, please. I know it's disappointing at this moment, but this team overcame a lot of things. This was a unique year, you know, with COVID and everything going on. Just to get to this point, even a lot to be proud of of these young ladies. Absolutely. I mean, there. This is this is. I mean, you said it's a crazy year. I mean, and we didn't get to spend as much time with some of them, like Asia Todd and Lish and 
I mean, you know, all the new ones, we, we just haven't been able to spend as much time that we probably could have. I mean, obviously we spent way more time with Diamond and Moss, you know, and Tay, I mean, they've been playing for us for a long time. So, you know, that's kind of also what I was thinking about in my head. Like, you know, I thought, I thought Moss was a beast all week, three days. She was a monster, but we've had Moss for four years. So she gets it. And Diamond played all three games. You know, she really stepped up and did what she was supposed to do, but we've had Diamond for three years. So it's like, you know, um, we just, we got to just keep building. And, and, and Jose has been in this league for, I don't know how long and how long his players have been here, but he's got a lot of seasoned vets, you know, on his team. Coach, thanks for your time, not only tonight, but this, this whole week and uh, best of luck through the rest of the postseason. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Okay. We welcome back diamond battles. Uh, again, just same, uh, same routine. Just if you have a question, just, um, Raise your hand in the chat or shoot a note in the, uh, raise your hand in Zoom, shoot a note in the chat and we'll take them. And we can start with Steve Wilson, please. Diamond, uh, tough loss tonight. I wanna to congratulate you and your team on the effort. Uh, I know it didn't turn out the way you wanted it. Uh, and I asked your coach this question and she couldn't answer it because she wasn't there. How did you and your team feel in the shoot around and warm ups prior to the game? Did you feel like you were ready to play ball tonight? Um. As a team, yeah, me and Moss felt like we were ready to go, but um, I just feel like as a captain, I should be more for sure that my team is ready. So I definitely take that on my behalf. But I mean, it felt good. We felt like we were ready. I mean, it's just like Abe said, like when we have veterans, it's a little different. The newcomers don't know how to, you know, adjust as quickly as we do. So it's definitely on the leader's behalf. We'll take that for not being for sure that we were ready, but we definitely thought we were. Next to Eric Lopez, please. Diamond, what changed there when you got down 24? You made that run to get it within six. What changed in the game that got you back in it? Um, my mindset, for sure. I mean, just like Abe said, I'm, well, I'm not a quitter. I don't give up as easy as anybody else. I wasn't born a quitter. I will never be a quitter. So I knew I wanted to do it for Tay and our seniors, for sure. Um, and then I had to remember the chip on my shoulder. I didn't come this far, you know, to get embarrassed. So I had to fight for Moss, I had to fight for Tay, I had to fight for the team and myself. And I mean, just, you know, every possession, I was just telling them like, you know, all we got to do is just fight. If that's nothing else, we're gonna fight. So that's all That's all I told my team and that's what we did. We just fought to the end. I don't have the last name, but Sylvia has a question. Hi, Diamond. How are you? Um, you better in the second half. I saw your effort and you were passionate. Um, how proud are you yourself and the team? Um, I'm really proud of myself. Um, I stepped up for my team this weekend. Um, my confidence was through the roof this weekend. Um, proud of my team. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We're I'm proud, really proud of, of my team. We come a long way, you know. We really wanted this really bad, but I feel like we got the respect that we needed for sure. We got our respect and that's what we really wanted. I mean, we didn't come out with a win, but we definitely got our respect and I'm proud of my team for that. And it's on to the next, it's on to the next. Um, I pray we get in the tournament to prove people that we're UCF and the name on our shirt really matters. So I'm very proud of my team. Thank you, Diamond. Thank you. Simon, thanks very much. We'll, we'll go back to the locker room. Appreciate your time this week and congratulations. Best of luck the rest of the way. Wow, we got people up up late at night here. Quarter to one Eastern time, coach. Uh, congratulations on the on the championship and the win tonight. Uh, we'll take an opening statement from you and then we'll open up to questions. Uh, you know what? I couldn't have been prouder of these guys. We didn't we didn't play our best basketball the first two days. And, you know, I thought I thought, you know, we set the tone early by the way that we we got we got out and scored in transition. We made extra passes and, uh, you know, we made shots and I couldn't be prouder of our kids um, and their resiliency and us, you know, on a neutral floor winning the conference championship. 
We'll take the first question from Joey Knight from Tampa Bay Times. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Joey. You took the, the Bucks let you cover women's basketball now. I like it. I told him I was covering it. All right. <laughs> hey, um, as good as y'all moved the ball and distributed it in the first half, and as good as you shot the three, was that about the best first half of defense that you've played all year? You know, I, I thought, Joey, I, you know, I, I thought I thought we defended pretty well at home, too, you know. Um, I just think the biggest difference in, in the game on, on the road, you know, uh, uh, it was two. It was two games in three days, and uh, I probably worked them a little bit too hard on that that second day, leading into that third day. You know, and uh, you know we were really flat when we went on the road. Uh, we got into some foul trouble, um, so um, I take I take full blame for that one. Um, but today, I mean, I thought we came out, and you know, you're up twenty four and man, they started to make shots and take a run at us, but um, so happy for these kids and, and everything that they've gone through um, all year long to be, you know, they left no doubt today, you know? Uh, so I'm really happy for them. We'll go next to Chris Torello, please. Hey coach. Um, just for you and for this program and for what you've all been trying to build, what does this mean to you, to your coaches, to all the players that have done the green and gold? You know, I have an incredible staff and, uh, you know, we got a really good basketball team, you know, that 31 day, that 31 day break really hurt us, but, you know, going through, going through a grueling conference schedule, like we did, uh, and then coming here and not playing well those first two games and, and, and getting an opportunity to play for a championship. You know, this is, we've played for a championship in this league five times. You know, the other three times we lost in the semifinal game, uh, once to Louisville and twice to Connecticut. But, you know, um, I couldn't be prouder. You know, this program, you know, when you talk about South Florida, I think we're in the conversation of, uh, as one of the best 25, 30 programs in the entire country out of 360 division one programs. So that, that tells you something. Go next to Will Turner, please. Congratulations on, on winning the tournament coach. Uh, I thought B Bia played probably her best basketball defensively of the season and she didn't even score a point there in that second quarter. Just, you know, if you could touch on what what she did, especially down low on on Kaba and uh, and uh, Thomas and Smith. Yeah, I, and I think you know it hurt us not having her on the road um, at UCF. You know, she didn't score, but I thought she defended. She you know uh, she threw her body around. You know, you know she was high side, low side. Uh, she affected things, so I couldn't be happier for. Her. I believe you're muted, Chuck. Sorry about that. We'll go to uh, Richard Silva, please. Hey, Coach, again, as everyone's saying, congrats on the uh, the tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. What can you say about Sydney? Not only what she did scoring, but also, you know, she drew two charges. She drew an, um, a UCF offensive foul, just like the little things she did out there. But, you know, the three games she's had to defend Cortesia Sanders. I think she's done a – she did a, she's done a really, really good job on, on that kid. You know, Sanders had a much better second half, but, you know, Sydney set the tone. She got her, you know, we found her, and, you know, she was shot ready and she made shots. I think, you know, Sydney's a kid. We got so many talented players on our team. Um, you know, Sydney doesn't get the attention she deserves, you know, because of uh, she can create off the bounce. She shoots it, but, you know, Sydney really defends, you know, we can put her on, we can put her on a shooter, we can put her on a driver. Um, and I'm just really happy for her uh, because it's well-deserved, you know, it's well-deserved to, to, to be the player of the tournament. Go next to Sylvia Guevara, the Odd Women's Sports, please. Hi coach, congrats. Any lessons that you learned on this tournament on this year that you could share with us? Lessons, well, we learned a lot about our team. 
you know, and the resolve and the type of character, you know, we have, you know, we do things the right way. You know, our kids are incredible student athletes in the classroom, in the community, you know, and uh, they're great representatives of our, of our university. So I couldn't be prouder to be their coach. We'll go to Jay Retcher, please. Coach. Jay, my man, what's up, buddy? What's going on, buddy? Hey, you just mentioned how the girls are, and just your whole team is a great representative of the university. But, you know, on behalf of the Tampa Bay media, man, you guys are a fantastic representative of, of our community in Champa Bay. Uh, let me ask you, when, when they started turning the tide there and getting all those points and staging the comeback, how did you yourself kind of stay composed and not get too high, not get too low? How do you convey that message to the girls to just stay with it and not try to overreact? We we're just getting sped up. You know, we we're getting sped up. And uh, we were picking up, we were picking up our dribble in bad places, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we went on a long stretch. I mean, it was, it was a median two timeouts we had to take during that stretch, but, you know, again, we found a way and we did enough and we took care of it and made our free throws down the stretch. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. Last through a couple more here. We'll go back to Chris Torello, please. Coach, for, for so many years, it's been you're walking into Selection Monday with a loss. You're walking into Selection Monday with a conference title now. Does that, do you feel that maybe changes how USF gets looked at come Monday night? Do you think, and also speak to the conference. We heard Coach Abe really almost like she had a really fiery kind of message here in her post game, thinking this should be more than, you know, just one team and, you know, the AAC should be looked at pretty deep. Yeah, you know, I think all along, I mean, we were talking about UCF being on the bubble. I thought they were, you know, they were in all along. They're a good basketball team. They defend, they rebound, they, they're tough. You know, I think Tulane and Houston are very good basketball teams. You know, I, I thought we had four teams in this league that, that, had, that were tournament, NCAA tournament caliber teams. We'll go to Will Turner, and then we'll finish off with Richard Silva. Will, go ahead, please. Oh, was there a moment, you know, tonight where it just kind of all hit you, where it all sunk in? You know, was it cutting down the nets, or did it did it just – when did it hit you that you were a tournament champion? Well, when, when we were up 8-10, and, you know, we had Sydney and E on the line. You know, those guys ain't going to miss free throws. So, I knew it was over. And we'll go to Richard Silver from the Oracle to finish up, please. Um, could you just talk about Betty's work on the glass? You know, she broke the uh, record for a single, single, excuse me, rebounds in a single tournament with 49. Could you just talk about that a little bit? That's what she does. You know, that's what she does. Um, and, uh, you know, we go as those frontline guys go. And when they go and they defend and rebound, we play well. So, you know what, Selection Monday – but whatever happens, guess what? This tournament is on a neutral floor, and uh, it's wide open. So I'm looking forward to finding out who we play, and whoever that is, we'll get to work on them. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys, thank you for staying up. All right? Good time, Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Thanks, Coach. Okay, we welcome back Sydney Harvey, tournament most outstanding player. Sydney, congratulations on the championship and the win tonight. Uh, we can go right to questions. We'll start with Chris Torello, please. Hey, Sid. Um, just what does this mean? You know, you've been in this program for a few years now, and the emotion that you all were able to kind of finally let out at the end. Uh, just take me through the ups and downs of this game, and then just kind of finally being able to kind of rush the floor at the end. I mean, it's just an exciting feeling. Uh, we came in the beginning of the game with a lot of energy. That was like our focus. We wanted to make sure we defend because defense leads to our offense and get out in transition. And then uh, second half, um, we came out good and then they started um, started pressing us and started making us play faster. We just had to keep our composure. And then when those last seconds hit, we just knew. And it was just an amazing feeling. Take the next one from Will Turner, please. Congratulations on, on winning the tournament and, and the tournament MVP. You know, obviously the first half was your half. The second half seemed like it was uh, Elena's half. Just, you know, sh they often say shooting's contagious. Just how contagious was, you know, y'all shooting tonight? Yeah, I think when you see one person's shot go in, it helps your shot go in. It gets you, you get hype, you get a lot of energy. 
I mean, we were moving the ball really well. So when we always share the ball, everybody's shot goes in. Go next to Jay Retcher, please. Hey, Sid, congrats on the win and the, uh, the, the uh, tremendous accomplishment. Can you just talk about the end when you guys are celebrating your hoist and Shea up there at the end? It, it just seemed like the entire team, not just the five players on the, on the court, everybody was locked into this game from the beginning. Just talk about that kind of togetherness you guys have and celebrating with Shea like that. We're always talking about the word inseparable. No matter if you play zero minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, the whole game, everybody has a key part in this team. And I mean, the bench gives us energy on the court. We can feel them, we can hear them. And I mean, Shea's one of our leaders and we just wanted to send her out with a win. Thanks, Sid. Okay, we'll take one more from Chris Torello. Sid, just looking ahead now, you guys will wait for selection Monday. Um, just do you, you know, there's still more history to be made for this team. They've, there's goals that of getting to a different weekend and advancing. Just how much time can you enjoy this before you have to figure out, okay, who we're playing and kind of get reset, I guess. I think um, the next two days we get off and then when we get back on that court, I mean, you just gotta, I mean, we can still enjoy this win, but I think it's on to the next. We still have more goals to accomplish. We gotta be locked in when we start practicing again. Sydney, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes at this late hour. Congratulations and best of luck Thank to you the rest you. of the way. Thanks, Sid. Thank, thanks, Sid.